and well look at that this is a calendar app that i just simply created based off of a single prompt with data button this is a very interactive application where it was able to be constructed within a couple of minutes and this is something that i'm going to be showing throughout today's video i just found the easiest way possible to build full-on SaaS products this is where you can simply ship your ideas into fully functional ai applications this is where I would like to introduce Data Button. Data Button is going to enable anyone to build out your SaaS product within minutes. Just take a look at this demo video by the creator of Data Button to get a better idea. Hi, I'm Viral, a co founder of Data Button. To give you an idea how to work with Data Button from idea to deployed app, we'll build an MVP of this app, an AI driven slide generation tool. We need to describe our idea in a few words to get started. We begin by describing the UI. If you have drawings or screenshots, you can also send them through here. I would like to have a moonlight theme based background color. I would love to have a title with a nav bar which says fast slide generator. Under the nav bar, I would like to have a text area where users can enter prompts. Under the text area, I would like to have a generate slides button. Data button takes your tasks and is writing actual React UI to satisfy the requirements, considering all of styling, layout, and content that's mentioned. Communication skills here are key. It did a great job given the context provided, but we want to tweak it a bit. Iterations are done conversationally just like you would work with a freelancer. Now we want to make the selected mood influence the output of the slides. So the UI needs to send that information into the API, and that needs to change a bit. You can just describe the new functional requirements and data button updates the app. Let's test it really quick. All right, will this be funny? Yeah, seems funny enough. But we want our app users to have even more control over the output. So we'll give them a way to pick a color as well as length of the presentation as actual buttons and not just in the text box as we've been doing before. Let's test it again with the updates. Seems like our instructions on color and length went through. The slides look just like they should. And lastly, we'll make sure to add user authentication so we can add payment, sharing functionality, and more later. Now we can deploy and send out that MVP. And there you have it, an actual micro SaaS. Now, isn't that fascinating? Data Button is going to be able to easily generate real SaaS applications, not just small demos or toys that you would get outputted from an application or from a regular framework or large language model. Data Button is going to easily allow you to generate these React components from the front end all the way to the back end, where that's going to be utilizing Python as well as Fast API. This is something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video as I'll showcase how you can get started with Data Button and how you can generate real SaaS applications. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're gonna be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So what I want you guys to do first is click on this get started button. Once you click on the data button link in the description below, it will prompt open this page where you're going to basically need to sign up with your email account or with your Gmail account. Once you have created your account, you can then click on new application. This will take you to this ground zero page where you can start entering custom prompts to build your AI application or utilize different templates. If you cannot decide, you can utilize some of these prior examples, such as a safety data reporter, insurance plan suggester, or you can basically just utilize these templates. So let's take a look at this AI chat template, for example. After clicking on the template button, it takes you to this workstation. This is where you're gonna be able to build out your UI components from the front end all the way to the back end. Now over here, I just had to provide my open AI API key and it was able to generate this chatbot application. It was something that was generated within a couple seconds. It also developed plans and next steps to basically iterate this even further. And the great thing is, is that you can keep chatting with this by implementing other components, changing the backend components, as well as implementing other integrations. Now, I want to briefly go over this architecture because it's absolutely amazing as to how you can create these full stack web apps by simply describing your idea. 
It's a five-step process, which you can see over here. It starts off with your prompt, where you describe your app in natural language. From here, the AI takes it, and data button is going to basically utilize React.js, as well as Chakra UI, to create that dynamic front-end. Now, for the back-end, what it's going to be utilizing is FastAPI, as well as Python, to help you create your robust back-end. From here, it's going to then integrate UI components to trigger APIs and it's going to ensure seamless interactions. So what we're going to be doing next is creating a modern sleek calendar app from scratch. And I'm going to be showcasing how you can do that with data button. This is a calendar app that can be integrated into a website. And this application should have a user friendly inter interface that's utilizing React.js as well as Chakra UI components. Now the back end is going to have Python and fast API to handle event management as well as logic and data storage. This is something that will allow users to create, edit, and delete events, or even set reminders within this category of different sorts of catalogs within your calendar. So what we're going to be doing now is just iterating on it as we see over here. Hello, let's get started on building your calendar app. The next step is to set up authentication by figuring Firebase. So if I do not want to use Firebase, I would just simply say no. But in this case, I'm going to be utilizing it and I'm going to proceed forward by saying yes. So I'm going to specify and build this out as I'm chatting with this. And on the next step, I'll showcase the progress that I've made. And look at that. It has built the back end of this calendar app where you can basically create new events, select the date, and you can have it so that you can even categorize these dates. Now, what I'm going to do is iterate this even further by making this calendar app more sleek. And you can see that the agents are now at work. I basically just prompted, can you please make the calendar look more sleek and modern? And within a couple of seconds, it's going to deploy the agents, which we see over here. And it's currently editing, uh, editing the source code, which is calendar. This is under the UI components. You can see that it's focusing on editing the front end UI at the moment. And it's going to make sure that the components are linked to the back end. So this is where the agents that are deployed from data button are going to collaborate together to basically output this new modern design. And if you are to take a look at the logs, you can see that it's focusing on multiple different steps to help you generate the sleek design. And just like that, we get this new sleek modern calendar, which looks very nice. Now, what I'm going to do is add animation. So every time I hover over these different dates, it pops up. And that's something that I'm going to describe to generate. And while this is working on generating the next step, what you can do is click on this preview button over here. This is where you can test the functionality out of your application, meaning that you can test out these different buttons and see how your application is. And if there's any sort of error, you can go back into data buttons console and you can specify what sort of errors you are facing so that data buttons AI agents can work on fixing this task. Now, in this case, you can see almost all the buttons are functional. It's a very simple calendar app that was developed within a couple of seconds. And there you go. You have all these animations finally added to our calendar app. So every time I'm hovering over a calendar date, especially on the web app front, you can see that it has a shadow that overlaps the next calendar date. And that's what I really wanted, the animation for that button. And you can even get that same animation for many of these other buttons over here. What I plan on doing next is basically creating a web page for this app so people can basically go onto my website and they can access this calendar right on it so i basically requested to create a world of ai website like a SaaS website that has an integration of this calendar app that i just created with data button so it looks like it has created these pages we have the feature page we have the contact page the calendar app itself the about page and the home page and we're going to go to the home page to test out all of these components this is the main page but we need to make sure that we link up all of these different things so it looks like it was able to find out our youtube channel and it was able to provide a good description of what it is we have our calendar app over here a contact us page a feature page and a pricing structure page which has to get to be fully coded out yet so now I'm going to be basically having the agents combine all of the components that it has coded up into one web page. You can see over here that it incorporated the calendar app. It added a features page, pricing page, calendar page, about us, as well as a contact us page. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more sleeker so that it looks a little bit more appealing. And now it definitely looks very, very sleek. We can see that it has animations. It has all of our different menus at the top 
and it has our app integrated within the home page. This was something that would take possibly hours to create, and this was something that I created with data button within minutes. Another cool feature is that if you are to click on create from image, you can basically paste in a random image, for example, my Patreon page. I can take a random image, I can save this onto my desktop, and I can have data button basically replicate it. So I'm gonna test this out, go back into data button, select this image that I wanna basically replicate, upload it, and I'm gonna say, can you please replicate this UI? Click enter and within a couple of minutes, we should have this outputted into our canvas. And say you wanna basically make direct changes to certain components, you can take a look at the hashtag feature where you're gonna be able to focus on different components that you wanna work with or with the backend itself. And it was approximately 90% similar to what the Patreon page is. If I am to keep iterating this even further, for example, the star is basically placed in for this robot and then this icon image is basically placed in for that spot that says picture profile other than that almost everything is quite accurate and all of these buttons are functional and this was something that i was able to develop within a matter of just uploading a small image and lastly i just want to talk about the app functionalities that data button is quite like i would say proficient at it's great at building apis based on complex web scrapping it's great at building APIs using LMs as well as AI service APIs. You can utilize it as a chat app with different types of streaming methods. You have regular crude apps that can be created, real-time applications using Firebase as well as Firestore. And it's ideal for basically having the structure of your application coded out with. It's not just creating the structure, but it can fully generate various components connecting the back end to the front end for you, which would save hours of work it can basically deploy a fully functional application for you that you can embed into your application and that's why i definitely prefer data button over anything that i've used previously and that concludes today's video on data button this is a great way for you to utilize ai to build out your SaaS application not like any sort of lm would or any sort of i uh, would say framework because this is a framework or an application that will easily connect the front end to the back end with the help of AI all in one platform. Whereas if you are to use a framework or a large language model, it's not going to be able to connect the different components together. You're going to manually have to do that. Whereas with data button, it does it automatically. This is a great solution to help you build out your real SaaS application. And it's something that I'm actually using currently. So I definitely recommend that you do so as well. Make sure you take a look at the data button link in the description below, as well as all the other links that I used today. Follow me on the Patreon to access different subscriptions. Make sure you follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.